today we're going to have a look at the editing methods in AutoCAD. The key concepts are selecting objects, editing with grips, editing layers, copying, mirroring, etc. Arraying objects. The main objective is, is to gain an understanding how to edit objects that has been drawn in AutoCAD. We're going to also look in part 2 how to resize objects in AutoCAD. We need a selection set before we can edit an object. It can be a single object or a group of objects. We're going to type in the command first, for example, move. Oops. And there you can see the pick box. Now you can also change the size of the pick box by going to tools, options, selection, and just use the slide bar to make it bigger or smaller. Click Apply and OK. We can select objects using the crossing selection box. That is when we draw the window from right to left. You can see the color is green and everything that it crosses, it will select. Objects can also be selected individually or the selection window can be used. Selection window is when we draw from left to right. You can see it's blue. And here we can see it's only what was in the selection window has been selected. The choice is yours whether you're going to select the objects first and then select the editing command or select the editing command and then select the objects. The blue squares that you see on the screen is the grip. To get your settings for grip, you can type in DD grips or go tools option selection. There we have the unselected grip color, the selected grip color, the hoover color, whether to enable it, enable it in blocks, the tips, and the maximum number of grips to display. You can do the changes and click OK. Now to edit we're going to select a line, see it turns red and we're going to drag. You can also alternatively right click with your pointing device to get more options to edit. You can also change an object by editing the attributes in the property dialog box. You can type in properties in the command prompt. Press Ctrl 1 on the keyboard or click on the Properties icon on the standard toolbar. Here you can just select the attribute or field and change it. And once you're done, you can close. With Layer Control, you can make a layer current by just clicking on it. There, for example, we selected descriptions. Now it's current. You can also change it by clicking on, on the icons, turn the display on and off to freeze it or fawn it in all the viewports and in the current viewport, lock or unlock a layer. If we go into the layer property manager, you will see there's more options. I'm going to change the color, for example, there from red to whatever color that is. You can also change the line type. We can load additional lines. I'm going to choose zigzag. can also change the line thickness, click apply and OK. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> Let's go and turn it off. Can I just click on turn layer on and off? And because it's current layer, it's going to complain to us. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> In drawing four, we have a white circle and a red rectangle. By using the match property command, we can make the circle red. You can go to mod modify match properties or type match prop in the command line. Select the rectangle. Select the circle. If you have more objects you want to make the same, you can select them. Press enter to finish. You can copy single or multiple objects in the current drawing. And you can copy between drawings and applications. 
we're going to select the line to copy. You can select more than one line. You can select copy on the standard toolbar, type copy in the command line, or click on modify copy. You're going to specify the base point. Then we're going to specify the second point. You can copy more if you want to, or you can press enter once you're done. With offsetting, you create a new object that is similar to a selected object, but as a specified distance, it copies it. You're going to type offset, or you can go modify offset. You're going to make the distance 10. You're going to select the green line. Then you're going to, you can specify a point. Let's do it with all the other lines as well. And once you're done, you press enter. With mirroring, you mirror objects around the mirror line, which you define two points. We're going to select the red and the green line. You can click on the icon, go modify mirror, or just type mirror. You're going to select the first point. And then the second point is going to ask you whether or not you want to keep the original. We say yes, and voila. In drawing 4, we're going to have a look at arrowing objects. It's where you copy an object or a selection of object in polar or rectangular arrays. For polar arrays, you can control the number of copies and whether it's rotated. Rectangular arrays is in rows and columns. You can click on the icon. You're going to select polar array. You can also select modify array or type the command. We're going to select the object. We're going to do the rectangle. Press enter when finished. Select the center point. We're going to rotate it around the circle. Uh, we're going to change that to 6, rotate it in 360. You can click on Preview to see if it's OK. If you're happy, you click Accept. Voila! Going to Undo. Are we going to do a rectangular array? You can go to Modify Array. Select Rectangular. We're going to change it to three rows, three columns. Let's go and select a rectangle. Now, if you want your rows to go down, we're going to enter here minus 40 so it can go down. And then the column offset, we're going to make 80. We're going to leave the angle at zero. Click on preview. Here we can see if you're happy, you click Accept. You rotate objects by choosing a base point and an angle. You can click on the icon, you can type the command Rotate, or you can select Modify Rotate. You're going to select the object, press Enter. We only want to rotate one object. Select the base point, and then you move the cursor or you can type in the angle you want to rotate it at. To erase the object, you can, for example, just click on the object, press Delete. You can also go to Modify Erase, or select the icon on, on and type it, select the object. For two, we're going to have a look how to resize objects using commands like done. Extend, Scale, Trim, etc.